all right today we are going to talk about translating flow ch flow chart algorithms to pseudocode formats and vice versa by the end of the lesson students will be able to define and explain the concept of algorithms and pseudocodes as well as flow charts you will be able to give us the importance of pseudocode and differentiate between pseudocodes and flowcharts and prepare pseudocodes for a simple program create a basic flowcharts representation of an algorithm and differentiate between the pseudocodes and actual code the concept of algorithms an algorithm is a step-by-step -step set of instructions designed to solve a specific problem or perform a particular task. It is a well-defined sequence of operations that transform input data into desired outputs. An algorithm serves as a blueprint for creating computer programs and are used in various fields to solve complex problems efficiently. The concept of pseudocode. Pseudocode is a high level description of an algorithm that combines natural language and programming language like constructs. It's used to outline the logic of a program without getting into the specific of a particular program language. Pseudocode focuses on expressing the algorithm steps in a human readable manner. The concept of flowchart. Flowchart is a graphical representation of an algorithm or process. It uses different shapes and arrows to depict the sequence of steps and decisions in a logical order. Flowchart helps in visual understanding the flow of control, condition, and action within an algorithm or a program. We are going to look at common flowchart symbols. So on our left side, we have the symbols, the names, and also the functions. So the first symbol is called a name, that is called stats or the end. The function is that is an over representation. Is an over that represents a start or an end point. An arrow, a line is a connector that shows the relationship between the represent, representative shapes. And we have an input or output. A parallelogram represents input and output. And we have process, the fourth one, that a rectangular represents a process. And we have decision, a diamond that indicates a decision. I want you to tell me, pause the video and tell me the one of the important or two importance of using pseudocode according to the, um, the explanation that we give, the concept that we give of pseudocode. And if you are ready, come back and listen to the details. Don't be shy if you get it wrong, but just enhance yourself on it. I believe now you are okay with and you are, we've come up with various importance of using pseudocode. So I'll, I'll add my own to it. One of the important of pseudocode is clarity. Pseudocode helps in planning and organizing thoughts before coding. Make it easy for visualize the algorithm logic and flow. Language independent. Pseudocode is not tied to specific programming language, allowing programmers to focus on algorithm design without worrying about syntax. Also, its simplicity. Writing in pseudocodes enable developers to focus on algorithms core logic rather than getting bad down by the detail of a programming language. We're also going to talk about the difference between pseudocodes and flowcharts. One of the, one of the difference is flexibility. Pseudocodes allows for more detailed description and explanation of logic, but flowcharts are more visual and may be better for illustration, illustrating complex flows. Usage. Pseudocode is often used in programming courses and planning stage, whereas flowcharts are commonly used in documentation and presentation. Formats. 
Pseudocode is primarily text-based using a mix of human readable language and program like programming like constructs where flowchart use graphical symbols to connect that connects by that, that are connected by arrows to depict the algorithm's flow. We are going to now do the practical aspects. We are going to write a simple pseudo code for adding two numbers. So what we do is that you start writing stats as your starter, then input the first number, then input the second number well as well. Then you set sum to first number plus second number. Then you display the sum. Then you end the program. And this is the the sample flowchart presentation of the pseudo code that we wrote. So you start it by the starter, then you put the second number, the first number, then you set some in the, in the, the box, the rectangular box, then you display some, then you end the program. So I want to also enhance yourself with the difference between actual code and the pseudo code. Yeah, because it has a little bit of similarities but let's look at the differences syntax wise pseudocode can use or uses natural language and abstract programming construct while actual code follows the specific syntax rules of a programming language level of detail pseudocode focuses on high level logic and concept whereas actual code includes specific details like data types variables and syntax rules Execution. Pseudo code is not executable, while actual code is compiled or interpreted by a computer to produce the desired output. I want to give you the assignments whilst you are in the house, and you read and read and provide examples of real-world applications where understanding of algorithms and using pseudo code can be beneficial. Example: How to withdraw cash from ATM machine. So. This is what we have for for you today and to meet today to meet again i want you to enhance yourself with this small exercise thank you very much for listening to this lecture this class and next week you will continue the lesson bye bye